Ladies and gentlemen, I was told not to make this video. I was told it's too controversial, but we need to talk about and expose exactly what is happening with the banks right now. Because if we don't speak now, if we don't act now, we're going to be heading into a time of banking tyranny where if you make one mistake or say one thing that doesn't go along with their narrative, you are cut off immediately. But this shouldn't really be a surprise for my viewers that have been watching or people that have been following the Great Reset. They've been telling us this is going to come and all people that have been paying attention have saw this coming. And other people in the past have tried to warn us that this is coming, but they'll cut off and silence immediately. For people in this video, I'm gonna go over specifically about what banks are doing, how they're freezing people's accounts that dare do this. Let's have a look, everyone. Look at this, everyone. TD Bank freezes accounts with 1.1 million for trucker protests. Now, I know a lot of my viewers will be for the protests, and I definitely support the protests that are going on. But say, for example, if you don't support the protests, if you don't like what they're doing, if you're saying they're causing too much inconvenience, well, what you need to know is if you give the banks this much power, imagine if for whatever reason in the future, you wanted to protest something that you didn't agree with, but for whatever reason, these powers became enacted, it could just be a matter of time before banks start cutting off funds for all protests. Because there's an old saying that goes, first they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unions and I did not speak out because I was not a trade union. Then they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. This is very serious. This is dead serious, everyone. I don't care what side you are on politics. Everyone has freedom to protest. Everyone has freedom to question things. But unfortunately, what we're heading towards is a time of leaders in the West where we have experienced much freedoms. We're now having our leaders act more and more authoritarian. And instead of acting like public servants, they're acting like public lords. But also some huge news has came out recently about what the banks are going to be doing. And people, I don't think you're going to like this. This everyone, we're expecting to maybe hopefully get high interest rates uh, on your deposits at the bank. Well, look at this. Don't expect rising interest rates to boost your savings accounts. Banks are unlikely to pay depositors more after the Fed first list rates because lenders don't need the money. So that's right, everyone. The Federal Reserve is going to start jacking interest rates up. But guess what? The banks are not going to pass on those high interest rate costs to you. They're going to pocket the difference because now banks have the Federal Reserve reverse repo market. That's where they can deposit money at the Federal Reserve and get paid interest of 0.15%. And that's probably about to go up. And then they only pay you 0.05%. And all this quantitative easing and cheap money, guess what? The banks have pocketed trillions and now they don't even need your money. And even the money you got there, guess what? They just want to lend out. And you'd be lucky if the bank even has 5% of the cash you've deposited. And also what happened in 2020 is the Federal Reserve gave power to the banks to not have to hold any deposits at all. And I think during the next market crash, banks are going to have these powers reenacted. They're not going to have to have any reserve for their deposits again. But again, going back to the Great Reset and the banking tyranny, they're not trying to even hide it anymore. And they're borderline stealing people's money now. I'm sure you've all heard of this, but look at this. Florida investigates GoFundMe over Canadian trucker donations. 9 million donations were sent to support them then GoFundMe did something absolutely crazy and I can't believe they actually did this they actually took the money and at first they said look we're going to send it to charities we agree with that is theft everyone they can't take people's money that they send for a certain protest and then all of a sudden say no we're going to send it to a cause that we like but you're probably wondering okay what's your point and what does this mean in simple terms what this means, everyone, the Great Reset is not going to begin in 2030. It is beginning right now. And you know the social credit system that we have in China? That is going to be coming global, everyone. I know this sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory, but it is not, everyone. It is already happening right now. And what other consequences this could have for you? You say one thing wrong at work. You're gone. You post something on social media that doesn't go along with their narrative or their agenda. And your bank account and everything gets shut off online like that. We've already seen what's happened in Australia and in Canada where you post something on Facebook, for example, and then you have police knocking on your door. So make no mistake, people, we are heading to a fascist dystopian future where mega corporations do the bidding of the government's agenda. And if you don't want us to head down this road, please share this video with your family and friends and keep them informed of what is coming. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.